This video is definitely not being sponsored by any VPN providers because I'm going to show you some unusual or unexpected activities that occurred when I used a VPN on my computer and when I used it on my phone. And in fact, what I, did, what I saw on my phone might actually be a little concerning to some people and I'll show you that at the end of the video. So before we begin, what is a VPN? Why is it something that we might want to use? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. The idea behind a VPN is that it masks your location on the internet. The reason that it does this is because it gives you a logical address that is not associated with where you are in the world. Normally when you connect to the internet, you'll receive an IP address or an internet protocol address from a local service provider. That means that things like web browsers or things like different internet services can look at that IP address, determine who owns that IP address, and determine the location of the person using that IP address. So if you use a VPN, what you're doing is you're going to some other location on the planet. You're saying, I want to pretend that I'm in the United States. I want to pretend that I'm in Germany or the United Kingdom. So you will get an IP address from your VPN provider that masks your real IP address to make you appear that you're somewhere that you're not. The reason that you would want to do that is, let's say, for example, there was something that you were interested in in the United Kingdom like different TV shows or something you're interested in, you could then have an address that the person providing those TV shows would look at and say, oh, you're located in London. That's in, in the United Kingdom. Therefore, you can get access to these United Kingdom exclusive resources. The, uh, most people will use it to watch TV shows or sporting events. The legality of that is a whole other story. But the point is that what you're trying to do is appear to be someone you're not, or at least in a location that you're not in. So when you open up a VPN, what you'll do is select a location that you'd like to be in. So here I'm going to go in and I'm going to say I'm in the United Kingdom and Blossom's going to help us with this. So now I'm going in and I'm saying I want to be seen as if I appear in the United Kingdom. It takes a few moments but you can see I'm now connected to the United Kingdom and for all intents and purposes I should appear as if I'm in the United Kingdom. But do I? So I'm going to bring up my Edge browser. And when I bring up my Edge browser, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and do a search. I'm going to do a search for tacos near me. So I'm looking for some tacos near me. What is near me should be the United Kingdom because I should be seen as being in the United Kingdom. And if I look here at tacos near me, it shows me as being in Paris. That's a little bit weird. And you might think, well, maybe your browser has some cached information. Well, I'm not anywhere near Paris. I'm in Canada right now. So why would it tell me that I'm in Paris? Bye, Blossom. Why would it tell me that I'm in Paris looking for tacos when I should be in the United Kingdom looking for tacos? Well, let's bring up a different browser. So I'm going to bring up Google Chrome. So we'll bring up my Chrome browser. And it's going to ask who's there. It's me. So again, I'm logging in with a profile. And here I'm going to do tacos near me. Tacos near me. And by the way, if I'm making anybody hungry, I apologize. If you go and get tacos, have a good time. And you can see here, when I go to tacos near me using the Google Chrome browser, it actually does resolve to me being in the United Kingdom. So you can see here, that I'm in the United Kingdom, I'm in London, because when I think about Mexican food, the first place that comes to mind is going to be London. But you get the idea, why is it Paris here and why is it London here? So just because I put that VPN in place and just because I've said I want to be in the United Kingdom doesn't necessarily mean I am. Let's go ahead and switch to the United States. So I'm going to switch to the United States and again, this will just take a few moments. Now I'm connected to the United States, so I should be in the United States. Let's do those searches in the two browsers again. Tacos near me using my Chrome browser. I go in and you'll see here that this is Seattle. I can recognize it right away. So you can see that I've got Seattle area, you know, Tacoma, Bellevue, that area there. 
So I, I grew up near here. So the idea is that I can see that I'm in the United States there. And if I go here and do tacos near me, let's see if it gives me the United States. So I'll do tacos near me using my Edge browser. And if I go in here, I'm, I'm stuck in Paris. For some reason, the Edge browser really wants me to be in Paris. Now I've done a few experiments with this and I've had different results. Like for example, for a long time, the Edge browser was giving me um, Calgary. In fact, you'll see here that I'm not currently logged in with an account in the Edge browser. Let me go ahead and do that really quick. So now I've gone in, I've logged in with my account, and now you see when I do tacos near me, the Edge browser actually does see me in the Seattle area as well. So it's very interesting to see that it's the browser in conjunction with the VPN that's determining my location. And this can have a lot of implications. You may think that if you just turn on your VPN, everything's fine and you're going to always be seen as being in that other location from the VPN. But as you've seen here, that's not always the case because you might find that you have a browser issue that will actually place you in a location that's unexpected, such as Paris. I mean, not a bad place to be located, but the idea is that I, there's no reason why it should be putting me in Paris. This must have something to do with the browser that I can dig into. Now, this becomes pretty tricky when you're dealing with different browsers. When I used my cell phone, I got some results that I thought were very unusual. Things got a little bit strange when I used the VPN on my cell phone. First, I connected up to the United Kingdom and I wound up at a place called Sandwich Kent. And then I thought, was the VPN trying to troll me? Does it think a taco is a sandwich, that a sandwich can be a taco? Comment down below if you think a taco is a sandwich. But that wasn't the point. The point was I did connect up to the United Kingdom and that was great. So then I switched to the United States thinking that I would get some location in the United States, maybe on the West Coast, in Atlanta, or on the East Coast, some place in the United States, but I didn't. I was put in the middle of Asia, and that was a little bit strange to me. I did this a couple of times. One time I was in Seoul, and one time I was actually in China, and China was really bizarre to me, because generally speaking, you wouldn't think a VPN would allow you to get into China. So that was a very strange thing, and I was a little suspicious of that. When you connect up to a VPN, you'll be assigned an IP address to the whatever location that you're trying to mask into. So a lot of VPN clients will tell you what that IP address is within the client. Some of them you'll have to go to the command line and type in IP config. But once you have that IP address, you can look up who owns that IP address. If you go to whois.com, you can go in and type in the IP address that you've been given by your VPN provider. So in this case here, I'm typing in my first address here. And then when I do a search on this address, I can find out who owns it. So you can see here, if I take a look here, gives me some information, uh, the organization name, their address. So they're in Amsterdam here. You can see as I scroll down here, the information about this particular IP address. If I go back and I put in the other IP address, so I'll put in the second IP address that I had. So in this case here, it's gonna be 193. 160.246.217 you can see when I put in this address it's going to make sure that I'm not I'm an actual human I'm not a robot although if I was a super clever robot I could probably fool it but if you go in here you can see here this is owned by a company called Packet Hub and Packet Hub is located uh, in Panama City so I've been given IP addresses by two different providers. That's a little bit of a red flag there. I want to, you know, if I'm working with a VPN company, chances are you would think that the VPN company would have ownership of all of the IP ranges that they were working with. Not necessarily sure of what their infrastructure looks like. Maybe they do have multiple ownership uh, setups. But that right there is a bit of a concern that one of the IP addresses I was given is owned by a company out of Amsterdam and another IP was given to me by a range that was owned by a company out of Panama City. What does this mean for us though? What this means is that just because we have a VPN client, just because we think we're masking our identity, doesn't always mean that we're being put where we think we are being put, and it doesn't mean that we're necessarily going to not reveal personal information. 
A good example is if you have a browser that is set to a certain location, no matter where you go with a VPN, the browser may override and when you look for tacos near you or anything near you, you'll find that you're actually in your home city even though you've gone on to a VPN. Sometimes if you're using a VPN and you do a search for something near you, tacos near me, you may find that you are actually not where you think you are. So if you are going to use a VPN for whatever reason, it is a good practice to not just connect to the VPN and make assumptions. What you should do is you should drop into a browser, you should do a search for something. I've obviously used tacos near me. You could do whatever, you could use restaurants near me, something near me where theoretically you should be able to see exactly where the VPN or where the browser thinks you're located. Then you can proceed if you're comfortable doing so. So I hope this video was interesting. It's just a way of playing around with VPNs without sort of the hype. Obviously, it's not a sponsored video because if you have a VPN sponsor, it's like one click and you're connected to wherever you want to be. It's not always the case. So I hope the video was useful and interesting. If you liked it, hit like. Uh, subscribe if you like technology and how we can use it to learn and teach more effectively. Although this one was a bit more on the technical side. Um, and comment down below on any other videos that you might be interested in seeing me go through.